Um, nowhere in this book, either in summary or in specific, does it talk about inflammation within the temporandibular joint directly causing all the symptoms associated with TMD. And my five minute presentation to that group specifically covered that statement, my experience, and what I believe is the direct cause. So it's not meant to be critical, it is what it is. And um, we can go over certain parts of this and probably in the future we will. We'll pick out a couple things in here that I think are very relevant. There's some extremely good science noted in here. Um, but again, and it states in here, basically in the vernacular, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And it's stated in here in so many words that that's one of the biggest problems we have here regarding temporary the joint disorders. So we'll cover this uh, at future times in little detail. I don't wanna to be too pedantic and I don't wanna to be too clever and I'm not trying to, to um, cover information that is too esoteric and complicated because that isn't how I, how I deal with patients. That isn't how I deal in science in my career. Um, so the first uh, thing we want to, I just want to clarify again, is that what I discovered in, in a very intuitive way, heuristic way, intuitive way, at the direction of my patients is that if you take away, decrease the inflammation of the temporomandibular joint, the symptoms automatically go away. And you don't have to deal with the secondary symptoms directly because the central nervous system takes care of that. And in previous installment, I explained what I discovered and, and I'll review again very briefly. And that is when there's inflammation within the joint and this occurs in any joint in the body, the hip, the knee, the elbow, the autonomic nervous system sends a signal to the central nervous system and says, hey, this joint is inflamed. The central nervous system processes it. And this is where it gets a little dicey and, and, and definitely have its room for understanding. And that is what happens in the central nervous system for the signal to come back down through the autonomic system and tells the muscles to tighten up. 